good morning, it's stupid o'clock. After a three month break, I'm back on the tracks. Gonna head down to Williams where I'll catch up with Trev and Mick. And we're gonna go hit the Bremer Bay region for a week. Let's sit back, relax, let's see what we get up to. Hello fellas. So took a shit on <laughs> oh, bloody hell, we got poo emoji again, have we? <coughs> on the way to Shane's Beach, we decided to drop into Way Chinnacup to show Mick around. Beautiful place to visit, crap place to camp. Well, we dropped in at Shane's there's no beach to drive so we can't get to the hut driving up the beach I'm going to be systematically stopping to check my roast so we're going to take this track it's just going to get us down to the point where I turned around last time and see if there's some beach to drive and if there's no beach to drive up here, then we're screwed. A bit of a uh, chicken track coming up. I took the right hand chicken track, but you guys can take the main track if you want. Uh, hang about there, because you've got this big hill coming up. You're going to need to drop tyre pressures, I think. Got to it on a crawl. Give it a shot, but hit it with some gusto. Definitely dropping tire pressure to get out of here, that's for sure. Not a bit shine or just take it off? Um, I'm up. Bloody beach, is it? Enough to run down if you uh, want the tides going out. Channel, or did you try to get up on the lip? I watched him go, and his front just went bomb. <laughs> At least there's a lot more room here than uh, the last place we were. How muddy that ground or is not too bad? Feels a lot. It had been a long day but finally we'd made camp. Short of the hut which we'd planned to get to, but a nice place to camp all the same. Welcome to camp folks. 
go show you around, see what the others are up to. Chev's over there bitching because he can't, he just bought a 2.5 by 2.5 metre awning, he can't put it up on his own. Winds and tag along to wherever. Winds and bitching, see? Why do I even listen, commit to these Listen toys? to him. <laughs> and Mick's going to free bag it. Free bag it? Free bag it. He's free ball on it, so I might as well free bag it. Too much info. But yeah, Trev and I went the awning. So we're going to uh, sit down, have a beer, and enjoy what little sunshine we got left. As you can see, there's not a lot. I noticed you've got a bit of a bulge happening there. I think uh, an awning wasn't too shabby an idea. Yeah, uh, Nick is. Have a bath, eh? Yeah. Morning, young Mick. Come on, get in underneath it and push it up. It's only round one. Three beetles. Job done. All right, so we're all packed up this morning. Um, we've really only uh, got the one way out. That's the way we came in last night because the, uh, the highway's been closed. They've got some road work, so we can't get out any other way, but we had a discussion this morning. We're gonna go and uh, see if we can drive up this beach and get to this hut. I'm not confident that we're gonna be able to get there because there's not a lot of beach, but we'll go give it a try. We'll see what happens, eh? Oh, good one. Why is it every time I bloody pull a camera out, someone decides to have a slash? Maybe that's just the drive the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why do you always pull out the camera when he's having a slash? <laughs> <laughs> This big's going. I guess Trev's going. I'm struggling on this bloody track here. Bellying out. No, I'm struggling for traction. I had to go into bloody low range. Well, it's been a bit of a mission, but we've uh, we found the hut. I've got a bit of water to drive through to get to it though, that's the problem. 
There ain't no other way around. A couple of little deeper holes up around near where Mick is. But I think it's doable. Ground's hard, so we'll get ready to do it, I think. Here we have it, the shack. We made it. What a cool little place. The Bluff Creek Hilton. Magic little spot. Pretty, uh, Barren on the inside, haven't got my lights on, so I don't know if you're going to see much. There's actually nothing in here. But just the uh, big veranda, benches, fire pit and pot belly. Freaking awesome. Alright, Chev wants to keep moving, he doesn't want to stay <coughs> at the uh, Bluff Creek Hilton. So, we're going to try and head back out to the highway and uh, see if we can actually get out there or if they're doing roadworks. Best I show you the view, hey? We got in here on a couple of hours ago. Um, I was having some noise with my car. It looks like my... Uh, one of my side steps has moved up and was bashing against the body or the body was bashing against it so uh, did some running repairs to get that up and running so that's all good then I've sat down had a beer and uh, here's our little campsite for the night on Beaufort Inlet not a bad little spot I'm going out to show you what the others are up to <coughs> it's going down over here Trev What's that mean? I said, what's going down over here? And that's the spot to be right here. Oh. Riverfront views. A bit dry. You thought it was dry last night. Woo. Yeah. Even the travel buddy I thought it'd be a bit dry. We've got no gravy to put on it tonight. Well, must... Starting to get some nice colour in the sky for sunset. Let me go see what Mick's up to. Oh, yeah, Mick's back, so. Travel buddy. That's right. Like That's our little camp for the evening. Very good. Beer o'clock.